Hello everybody, I'm Robert. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Cloud Sigma. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a device to your account to allow two-factor authentication. We definitely recommend that every customer does this if they can, because it gives you a much higher level of security in terms of uh, the access to your account. Um, so if your password gets compromised, uh, it's much less likely that someone will be able to then subsequently get access into your infrastructure. Actually doing this is really quick and easy, and I'm gonna add a new device to my account live on this video. So you can see here, I'm already logged into my Miami account, and I'm gonna go to the access and security section, and then go to two-factor authentication. So you can see, I don't have anything added yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a device right now. So we'll give the device a name, it's going to be my mobile. I'm using a OnePlus 2 at the moment, so that's what I'm going to call it. And I have to just put my uh, account password for Cloud Sigma back in there. And I've already got that in the clipboard, so I've copied it. So I add the device. You can see it's now added, but you can see it's got a status of uh, false. So it's not been confirmed yet. And we'll confirm that just in a minute. So you can see we're using the Google Authenticator for the two-factor authentication. And that's a very common app. It's available for pretty much every mobile operating system you might have, as well as for other devices. So it's a very common application. And so almost every customer will have a device where they can install this or multiple devices because you can add multiple devices to the, the account and be able to enable two-factor authentication. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this new device. So when I click that, you can see on the screen, it's giving me a QR code to be able to authenticate the device and it's asking for a passcode. So what I need to do, and I'm recording the screen on my Android phone at the moment as well, is I need to go in and hit set up account, and then I'm gonna scan the barcode. So you have to forgive me while I lean over the camera. So it's now scanned the code, as you can see, and it's added that account onto my Android phone. Now all I have to do is add the passcode from the device into the Cloud Sigma account and we'll be all ready to go. So let me see. Okay, so we've got a new code here, 752. And that code's now been entered. It's verifying, verified, and that's it. So now you can see the device is listed as available and it's been confirmed. We're all set now um, with two-factor authentication on this account. I'm gonna go ahead and log out just to prove that it works. I'm going to enter my email. I'm going to put my password in. And normally this would just give you direct access, but as you can see, because we've added the device, it's now prompting me for a code. And I'm looking down at my device, I'm pulling out the code. I enter that code. And that's the two-factor authentication. And as you can see, it's now giving me access to the account. So really it's that simple. Um, in two, three minutes, you can add a device to your account and have two-factor authentication. And as I mentioned before, you can add multiple devices. It's definitely worth considering doing that if you're able to. Uh, if you lose a device, it's obviously much easier to establish uh, access again. And it also means you can have multiple people with different devices accessing the account. And again, that's giving an extra level of security. So thank you once again and happy computing.